everybody today is a bit of a workshop with found objects and making some ink out of coffee and just creating some different sort of techniques with mark making so I just went to my driveway to grab a couple of random things you can kind of see me grabbing sticks and there's a feather I've grabbed some grass I'm gonna get some leaves but the idea here is you've got tools all around you that are art making tools are mark making tools and you can use all sorts of things so here's a selection of what I just found from my driveway I've brought in and I make a very strong coffee uh, so it's not much water in there it's just really to make something that we can use as an ink medium but of course you could use ink or paint or cordial or some other substance so I'll just give that a bit of a stir and here we go so I've just got a piece of paper and I'm going to just spend some time this is a bit sped up but it's basically just me using all the different things that I found to create some different marks now you could spend quite a while on this you could make some textures lines different lengths of lines squiggly lines straight lines uh, I use this piece to make some stamps and it kind of has some nice splodges as well think about how you could use the same object in different ways so you can stamp it or scrape it here I've got a rock and I'm going to roll it to get uh, some interesting coffee marks there it also left some interesting just um, dots of coffee and you know the feather flicks coffee as well as drawing it on in a really interesting way uh, and the other thing that I quite liked about using coffee is that it gives different texture to the um, actual lines that I'm making so here I've just used a bit of a stencil with the leaf and some kitchen toweling I've got those bits of grasses now that I'm going to just have a bit of a play with as well just to kind of get some different effects different types of lines which I'm going to turn into vector uh, brushes in a minute but you could use all sorts of things and again you could have a play on your piece of paper with just textures markers different types of inks and see what different lines you can come up with so this is just a way to be off the computer and have a play so all I've done here is taken those marks that I made and I scanned it I photographed it and I've brought it into a new illustrator document now I would suggest the easier way to do this would actually be to bring it into Photoshop chop up the bits that you like and then bring those into illustrator but for the sake of speed today I have just taken screenshots of the bits that I wanted to turn into different kinds of brushes and those are here now I'd really recommend separating out the ones that you want to turn into brushes because then you can adjust the levels of your image trace individually so I'm just going to zoom in and let's just go through these and turn each of these into vectors so with that selected I'm going to go to edit image now I'm pretty happy with that as it is I think that'll make a pretty cool art brush so I'm going to expand and I'm going to go in and just remove that white because I only want to have um, just those elements as part of my brush this one I might do a little bit differently so you'll see when I hit image trace it doesn't really give me a great result so I want to go into the image trace panel which is there and it'll pop up uh, and I'm going to play around with some of these options I might even make this one grayscale and make a kind of funky different grayscale brush uh, I might just remove some of those grays and see what happens it'll take a bit of a minute to think maybe a few more give it a minute okay so I'm pretty happy with that I want to expand it and again I'm just going to go in and tidy it up a bit so I've double clicked because those things are grouped together and I'm just going to go in and remove the sections of that brush that I don't want to have but you can take a bit more time and particularly if you've cleaned that up in Photoshop already you'll have less of an issue than I have with that one all right last one I might even make this into a different kind of brush I think I'll make this into a scatter brush instead so I'm going to go to image trace it hasn't given me a great result I'll pop up the threshold there maybe a bit more let's see what we can get yeah see I'm pretty happy with that it's kind of got quite a dynamic bit of swirl to it I think that was some of the dry grasses so I'm going to expand and again I'm going to double click because I want to remove this white and I'm going to give you a hot tip so I've just selected some of the white to remove but if I select a piece and it's sort of hard to grab these other bits I can have one selected go to select same fill color and I'll actually select all the rest and I can delete them all at once fantastic so I now have three elements from my mark making that I'm going to turn into brushes and they're all vectorized so uh, that'll work really well I'm just going to drag them over here onto my artboard I might just jump in and double click and remove that big element because I'm not as as a bigger fan of that okay window brushes 
and I'm going to go to new I have that selected and I want to go to art brush for this one okay now I'm not going to go through all the details I have a separate tutorial that shows you how to make an art brush so I'm going to just be fairly quick and basic with these ones again I'm going to make this one an art brush I'm going to hit new art brush okay and I'm happy with that fantastic I'm not going to colorize these today and this one as I said I'm going to make this into a different kind of brush so I'm going to go new brush scatter brush and I'm not going to go through all the options again in this one but just have a play around with it and you'll see it pops that up here fantastic so I now have three brushes I'm just going to delete these ones uh, so we they're out of the way so now we have these brushes we're just going to have a bit of a play with them so with that selected how about I just do some wiggly lines straight lines yeah cool that's really interesting and this art brush has a really nice texture to it and it's just something different it's different from using just your bog standard straight lines let's make another artboard here move over we'll just have a bit of a go with that pattern brush that'd be really fun so here I'm just drawing a line and we've got this really interesting pattern which pops up if I just show you that preview you can see where the vector line is and this is the pattern that's been applied so that'll be a really interesting texture that we could play around with maybe we'll put that inside our map of Tasmania all right so let me just grab another nice big art board and let me pack away a few things we don't need and here's a map of Tasmania that I prepared earlier I'll just um, make a few copies of that across my page and we can start applying some of these brushes to it so maybe this one will have this outside brush that looks kind of cool and this is the other one that we made that was really sort of dynamic but a bit more simple and solid and then this one how about we actually apply this scatter brush so that might not be exactly the effect that I'm after but as you can see we can apply these brushes that we've made that was just a really quick wander around in my garden where I grabbed some things I had some coffee you of course could use actual ink or paint make some marks and take them into illustrator and see what kind of interesting things you can come up with thanks for watching